Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X-2 on the Mysterious JG. And uh, we've actually backtracked a bit because um, I realized, uh, as this is a new recording session for me, I'm starting, but I, I found out at some point that we actually missed something that we're supposed to do now. I think we would have been okay to come back and do it in Chapter 3 uh, because we sided with New Yevon, and one of the things about that is that we can actually come revisit this place at points during the game where we couldn't if we sided with the East League, but hey, I remember this place, right? Well, we were supposed to jump down here to do something. There he goes. I'm not sure how we were supposed to know there was a thing here to do. But yeah, we're actually supposed to come over here and, uh, and do a thing. It's like another puzzle. but I don't actually remember quite how it works other than we can jump up and huh? move again ah! so I think there's like one or two treasure chests that we can reach using this thing Okay, I think I figured out how this works. Okay, and they are gonna give us a little instruction, I guess. Careful! Just say the word and I'll move the platforms! And I'll shake around and I'll get you killed by machinery. Go from afar. Press square to signal Riku to operate the platforms. Unit can only call to Riku when unit is standing in a safe place. Okay, so basically I'm jumping around and I'm trying to get to treasures somewhere. I don't even see where these treasures are. But, uh... Doesn't seem like there's anything useful over here. Okay, like I gotta get up a level to get to that treasure. This is not considered a safe place. Considered safe? Why isn't this considered safe? She can like duck and stuff. Anyway, uh, I think there's a total of two treasure chests. Although now it's gonna be a good time to pull out the fact and actually be sure of that. Spaz out. Okay. I need one of them to go up like really high. So now if Yuna can get back on, that one is lined up where we kind of need it to be. So she can't get back on, so we should be able to get a treasure out of this. Holding the damn jump button. What do you want me to do, game? Now I'm slamming it. I know I can jump back up from there because I jumped down. It would not put me in a place that is completely uncoverable. Alright, this is seriously annoying me now. I know we can get back, so what's the freaking problem? Otherwise, we seriously are at game over here. Alright. So, that was annoying. It just made it so that the camera angle prevented me, because I could have gone from either direction, but the camera angle just kind of stopped me. So I got the accessory bloodlust. What does it do, and is it worth the trouble? We're about to find out. 
Blood Law is gold. That suggests it's good. Horrific invention said to make its bearer fight to the death. Brings your strength uh, way up. And I'm thinking it probably inflicts you with a uh, berserk. So I'm just wondering if there is another treasure to be gotten up here in all this. Or if we're done. And uh, what I should have done is uh, actually had my fact out and ready. So I'm going to quick pull that up, talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. And I'm not doing that whole thing. Um, this is. Oh. This is a, I, I knew I had a fact open. Problem is, it's a RoboTrek fact. So that's probably not going to help too much. Um, oh, I have contract requests from various people I've never heard of. With sexy girl names. I wonder if they're real sexy girls. Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, this is being a much bigger pain in the butt than I realized. However, um, GameFAQs is recommending Paladin's Quest to me, which suggests that they've paid some attention to my search history. Grandia 3. <sighs> Alright, um. takes a while to find stuff in this fact, but, um, oh, jeez. I'm just going to search for Gale. Okay. You actually, uh, because it's a name of a room, uh, it does show up. So, all right, uh, Oh, you know, I should have just looked for, um, bloodlust. Okay. Okies. Oh, God. Yeah, this person uses the word okies. Um. There's another, uh, there's another one called Ring Ack. I Oh, that's probably ring, and that's an accessory. Okay. So there is another one. Uh, problem is, I have no freaking idea where uh, it's located. So. Riku, go ahead. I don't know if it's the highest level. You it's probably the it. lowest level. I don't think they go any higher than that one. Uh, I should be looking around at the. I should be looking uh, on that screen for where there appear to be uh, treasure chests. Because once I opened it, I could suddenly see plain as day where that other treasure chest went to. Oh, that's probably it. That looks pretty suspicious over there. Looks like there's a door over here, yeah. There you go. This is probably it, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, there you go. That's weird. I spent longer looking for the fact than I did to to see if there was another treasure. Not even I didn't use the fact to figure out how to get it. I was just checking to see if there is another treasure. God. From an ancient war makes its user a spellcasting machine. Okay, so they got a uh, they got one that boosts your magic like crazy, and they got one that boosts your strength. So they're kind of like offsetting treasures. Uh, any chance I can actually get down from here? That would make life easy. Probably not. Probably gonna have to go through a whole rigmarole to get back down now. You think she could just like dangle and then use the famous video game controlled fall to jump down and then fall back into uh, a safe spot below? Or she should have like Princess Toadstool uh, gown dress that lets her. Riku! Go ahead. Go ahead. Should Coming have like a right Princess up. Toadstool uh, ability to float. That's probably it right there. Yeah, hopefully this will let us get down. Uh, it's not looking that good now over here. Unless this one isn't low enough. Kind of 
Once again, the camera angle is going to make this more difficult than anything else. Oh, come on, you can jump down from there, you know, no pro Oh, sh she actually can! <laughs> oh, sweet. So, um, are we done here? Riku's still... Riku and the gang still hanging out down there? Or oh, I just left the room. Really mean to do that. No, no, don't need to go this way. I need to go back. All right, so we solved that puzzle and we got two accessories, uh, neither of which I'm actually planning to use. Probably, but that's fine. I suppose we could just to see what they do. Um, Yeah, we don't need to be guarding against slow and stop anymore. That's that's done for now, at least. So I wanted to give you bloodlust. Give you the bloodlusty gun mage. Hello, actually, petty perfume makes more sense than uh. And you'll be the bloodthirsty alchemist. There you go. I'll probably need to switch to something else. I'm really just curious to see if this is going to give them, um, it, like, the, the bloodlust will actually put you in berserk status and make you fight to the death, as it says, or if it's just... That talk doesn't mean anything. I also, I'm not using the charm bangle, because I'm still kind of vaguely hoping that... Yeah, doesn't want to go up there, huh? I'm still kind of vaguely hoping that eventually I'll be able to uh, encounter the enemies that give... Heaven's Cataract. So I have to redo this puzzle. Okay, well there's the enemy. Oh, and indeed, um... So Riku is, uh... She does have, like, bad status. Oh, she is poisoned and berserk. If it was just Berserk, it would actually be potentially useful in grinding, but Auto Poison, which you can't remedy, um, doesn't really seem that useful. So let's get that off of her. And, uh... Could give her super high magic, but her current, uh... Not the Hell Recover Bracer, that's fine. So at least we, we've established that this room actually contains the guys who use Heaven's Cataract, so that's fine. Just run around here and uh, actually encounter one and get it to cast it on pain and we'll have one more blue magic. You guys do not have the, uh, or the spell that I need you to have. But when I having fun um, recently with the fact that Riku yells booyah and then doesn't actually finish the battle off, but that time she did. Preemptive strike on guys that I don't care about. That was funny, he went up to deliver this like fancy kick miss, but then he got shot in the crotch. <laughs> robot's not having a very good day. Okay, I don't know how many times I fight rando enemies here before uh, I give up and just figure I'll grab that uh, blue magic for paying off screen, but um... Oversold Vertigo, I wonder how quickly we'll be able to defeat it. It was one of the, oh, it was an oversold, uh, one of the eyeball monsters that was giving me, uh, fits the very first time I ever played through the game when I was trying to get to, uh, Baikonel Desert. It was really meant to be just kind of a plot scene with one or two battles along the way, but to me turned into this huge undertaking. I really should be leveling up somebody's, uh, Should be 
leveling up somebody's Dark Knight. Although we haven't seen... Well, we, have, we haven't seen Yuna transform into a Dark Knight yet, have we? So I should probably feature that on screen. But, um... Yeah, because Dark Knights... I believe they can cast the spell from Hughes, which will be essential for, um... Some of what we're trying to do with the blue magic. Pretty sure Reflect doesn't work for, um... High Road Winds or White Wind or whatever. But I could be wrong. I read somewhere that, if you're paying more attention than I am, Yun is actually fighting with uh, Kaldeborg, which was Titus's ultimate weapon in Final Fantasy. Like, I noticed myself that she uses Brotherhood when she's just a regular old knight, but apparently when she's a dark knight, she kicks it up a notch. And it might be because the first time I played Final Fantasy X-2, I'm pretty sure I never got Kaldeborg. Because I only ever did that uh, in my LP. That was the first time I'd ever done that because I used an emulator. Otherwise, I'd still be trying today. So we kill that thing, and then we basically stall. Oh good, she is uh, it is actually aiming towards uh pain, so this should work. <laughs> Not sure exactly when the healing took effect, but it's possible. Let's say for a minute I was thinking we might be able to come out of this with full health, but Yuna's like, she's a dark knight full of evil power, and yet at the end of a battle, she sticks her sword in the ground and then leans playfully over it, sticking her butt out. How, how truly dark. Alright, uh, you... Actually, she probably should be learning dark mage, mage stuff, too. She is part of the way to learning bio, which I believe is going to be the, hopefully, hopefully it's confuses one of these and not one of these, because if it was one of these, I need to be learning Demi to, uh, to get the uh, path to it, uh, Frida. Although, actually, I'm going to try something that somebody said we can do. As you can see, my, uh, my party also has a Chocobo, Yibel, Forest the Spider, and Brother, because of the, uh, creature creator side game that's only in the International Edition, and, uh, therefore, yeah, I've been playing around with it off-screen. I'm gonna go ahead, then, and give, uh, somebody mentioned that you can put the Charm Bangle on a character who's not part of your active party, and it should work, so I'm kind of curious if this will work. Okay, well there we go, we solved the, the puzzle. And we didn't even buy any vowels. And now, well, I'll go ahead and save just in case, but now we should be well and truly ready to wrap this up. I'd said at the beginning of this whole thing that this was like the closest this game had to like a true, just like, dungeon crawl. And like atmospherically that's how it feels, but now that I'm playing through it again, I'm like, this is this is also really freaking short. Well, that really seems like that was an impressive leap, I gotta say. You know? And like, we really don't know what happens if you jump off there and miss. It seems like you probably just fall forever. So we defeated Bear Lie right here. This is the room that he was guarding. So let's see what's what's in it. Location, Pavel Limbo. How low can you go, Yuna? Uh, there's a bunch of wires leading to nothing. There's fireflies. I don't really know what's going on with this place. It's a cinematic. 
There's Bahamut is what there is. This doesn't really make sense though. No way! What is it? <gasps> it's an Aeon! Well, Yuna knows which one. She even knows that it's actually a little boy in a purple robe in its true form. An Aeon! You here to help us out, buddy? Thought I killed you guys. You must stop! Stop what? It's not doing anything. You want to get killed? We have no choice! It hasn't even attacked us. Oh, I mean, it's going to attack. But, I um... have to. So we got very sad music here because Yuna doesn't want to fight the... So this is actually a really easy boss battle, if memory serves, compared to the fight against Feral Eye, which of course we were overleveled for and only took forever because I was trying to learn his blue magic. But um, you would think he's like super dangerous and powerful, he's kind of not. I want to let it last long enough that we can actually see Mega Flare, which I believe he uses, but... No, I do I want to scan him, actually. That might be uh, interesting to see. Of course, with an Alchemist healing us all the time, very few enemies in the game are much of a threat, but... But we got a little sad music playing as we fight him. Little, little boy in a purple robe who constantly mocks Titus. Why can't we be friends? Charge up Impulse, which seems like it should be a really powerful attack. He's got uh, 8,000 hit points. He's got lots of MP. An Aeon that once fought alongside Yuna. So that actually did a little bit of damage to everybody. Still can't steal anything, huh? Alright, Yuna, unleash the power of darkness. Like you do. <laughs> Looks like it does about... I was about to say it does 50% damage, but I think that was just a coincidence that Riku lost about half of her health. Mute shock! There we go! That means we can stop. Oh, it's uh, charging up uh, the old uh, Mega Flare. So if we want to see Mega Flare, we can check it out now. I can hit him about eight times with darkness before he'll be right on the edge of the feet. Bad this isn't blue magic, you can't have like unit Wow, that was awful. Two hundred something damage apiece? That was less than impulse. Impulse must be some kind of like percentage of max hit points, because otherwise there's no way it should be doing more damage than Mega Flare. But uh, it would be kinda cool if uh, Mega Flare was uh, blue magic, so you could have like a gun mage just like hunk her down on all fours and arch arch her back and stick her head up in like the, the uh, down dog yoga position or whatever it's called and then just shoot out deadly breath <laughs> like cat lift or something there's I don't know, yoga pose but yeah um, it's a pretty pretty big surprise to come down here and find yourself fighting a uh, an Aeon this was not where I thought things were gonna go when we got down here and we've now defeated this Aeon. It was considerably 
Well, it's hard to say if it was easier than uh, beating it in Final Fantasy X or not, because of course in Final Fantasy X, you fight the Aeons at the end of the game, but you've got like Life 3 status. You got re-raised permanently. Uh, because for some reason, instead of making it a really interesting climactic battle sequence, they, uh, boss battle, they made it like impossible to lose. But um, if you fight Dark Bombet uh, in the International Edition of X, um, yeah, a hell of a lot harder than that was. Why is this happening? I wish you were here with me. Little boy in a purple robe. Titus was here. He would. You'd still be happy Thank to you, beat up Payton. the AI. You were right. We had to fight it, didn't we? Well, don't cycle back on that now, Pain. She's using you as a crutch to deal with her own guilt. He didn't even try to negotiate with the giant monster <laughs> spitting fire at you. Oh, I don't know. This hole was made recently. That's a hole. You think it was Vagnagon? I guess that's a hole. Unreal. How deep do you think it goes? Well, you can find out. What? Jump right in there. Where's Vegnagon? What's going Not on? Not here. Oh, it must have fled in terror, knowing boss. I was coming. I don't think so. Homie, don't play that. I must report to Nuji Wuji at once. The upstairs, don't call that. Boys, record this. Don't miss a single detail. Yes, yes boss. Vegnagun. Was it really here? Wow. This that isn't how it was supposed to Dude from the Blanc Syndicate's like the two and a half heads taller than Pain. That I was crazy. I feel it crumbling, falling away from beneath our feet. Yeah, and it only took about uh, a Yona! third to half of the game story before we actually found out there was a trouble. Super Voodoo. So that's it for chapter two, folks. Um... At the end of chapter 2 of 5, we actually learned that there is a threat to the world, and uh, Gullwings obtained a detail bonus. Um, that's a... That's a... Um, uh, a creature creator thing, so I'm not sure why that's popping up now, but whatever. I do want to save our progress. But yeah, it, we, we took uh, an entire act, uh, or two chapters of the five-chapter story before we found out Yuna gets to make a little speech about how the eternal calm is stumbling, uh, crumbling away. Blah blah blah. Can't talk today. Yeah, she makes her little speech about how the eternal calm is uh, crumbling, and we all feel like you know we really feel for her because she worked so hard to save the world, and now the world's in trouble again. Except that my whole thing's like, I guess, but <laughs> I don't know. The threat of Vagnagun somehow just doesn't feel quite as real as the threat of sin, mostly because. Fairly early in the game, we got lots of examples of the horrible destruction Sin can can uh, bring. Whereas in this game, we've just had a couple of uh, weird spear camera videos of some giant elf robot that um, is apparently a gun and um, is apparently a threat to us. But I don't know. I guess we'll find out more. Uh, and certainly, uh, Brother indicates that the things are about to pick up because he says that they're in super doo-doo so um maybe uh maybe it'll all make sense next time on the mysterious jg thank you guys very much for watching i hope you'll join me next time as we begin chapter three of final fantasy x-2